In this video, we're taking a look at some everyday bags and accessories from IKEA, a little Swedish brand that you may have just heard about if you've ever bought anything for your home, and that are now making a decent range of bags and travel accessories at incredibly reasonable prices. We went down to IKEA and bought a bunch of different day packs, slings, and accessory pouches to figure out which gear we think could be worth picking up and which items you can probably miss. And if you'd like to see us make another video on IKEA's more travel-focused gear, yes, they also do travel backpacks, packing cubes, and even roller luggage, then give this video a thumbs up and let us know in the comments section below. We'll leave links in the description for all of the products featured in this video, so feel free to check them out. And without further ado, let's take a look at these everyday bags and accessories from IKEA. We will kick off this video with the IKEA started 18 litre backpack. And I must note that I picked up all of this IKEA gear a little over a week ago at the time of filming this video. So while that's not enough time for like a super detailed review, it's gonna be a pretty good video in regards to like first look impressions. And I have been using the gear pretty much every day since I bought it. And our Pack Hacker Pro members get the chance to vote on which of these IKEA products we fully review. We'll leave a link to sign up in the description below. So when it comes to harness system, um, it's a budget bag. You know, unfortunately you do get what you pay for most of the time and the harness system is nothing special. It's not the worst backpack strap um, I've ever come across. And as long as you keep, you know, whatever in here pretty light, it's gonna be perfectly fine. But if you're loading this thing up, um, you know, it's just not gonna be able to bear that load too well. And then, Kind of moving back on, we'll start with the side. We have some water bottle pockets here and we've got them on, yeah, both sides here. And what I like is that they're actually stretchy, as you can see here. So they do hold kind of flat, but then when you need to use them, they stretch open, which is great. And that's nice to have on the side of the bag. Then we just have this front pocket here, which I really like. It's just a quick grab pocket. So for your phone, your wallet, any kind of stuff you need quick access to, you can just go in there and you're good to go basically. This is a roll top backpack, which I actually really like roll top backpacks with side access. And this has that going on as well, which for the price is really cool. So we'll start off, I think it's actually um, this one here. Um, if you zip this down, you have access to the full main compartment. Now I've just got a camera cube in there just to fill this up so it stands up. And then this other side, as you can see here, goes into a laptop compartment, which is really nice. It's a little bit padded. Um, there isn't a false bottom, so if you drop your you know, laptop or this bag on the floor, then your bottom of your laptop's always gonna hit the floor, which isn't great. IKEA on their website says it will hold a 15 inch laptop, but we put that to the test naturally. And I've got my 15 inch MacBook Pro here, um, the early 2019 model, which is pretty go-to for 15 inch standard sizing. and. As you can see, I actually can't get it in. <laughs> it's gonna fit a 13 inch MacBook really nicely. Regardless, they say it'll fit a 15 inch laptop and it doesn't fit my 15 inch MacBook. So I'll do that back up. And then the roll top, it's just a nice little simple buckle design. It's actually got a little bit of Velcro here at the top, which is quite nice. And then inside, I'll just take out this camera cube that I popped inside, which actually fits in really nicely. That's the F-stop camera cube. Um, you can see it's super flat. And at this point, you also kind of feel how, you know, not expensive it is. As I said before, it's a budget bag and you get what you pay for. Um, it's 100% polyester um, and it's pretty thin polyester as well. However, IKEA has used a minimum of 90% recycled polyester in regards to making this stuff and all the other stuff that I'll get onto in just a second as well. So that's a nice little touch, but it doesn't feel great. Um, but yeah, and then inside it is, if you can see in that camera um, that well, but it, it's basically just a massive bucket, um, which is what you typically expect. I have to say, I, I like the bag. I like that they've done some interesting stuff. I think it's worth checking out this one. So that's the started 18 liter. It comes in a couple of different colors. This is the blue version. So I'll pop that over to this side. Next up, 
we have the started 12 liter, which is in the same kind of range, feels and looks very similar. It's got the same kind of water bottle pockets on the side. It's got the same front compartment on the front, which again is perfectly fine. Then inside, I do like these top handles, I must say. Um, maybe hold it up like this. You've got a little, I think this actually says a, a 14 inch laptop, but I, I can actually squeeze my MacBook Pro 15 inch, but it, it does touch the corners, so it's not ideal. It's, it's mainly for 13 inch laptops. A couple of dividers on the front. Um, this is padded as well. Nothing else inside. It's just a really simple bag, basically. And that being said, if you really need a really simple bag and don't care about what bag you're getting and just want like a cheap one to put your stuff in, then sure, go for it. But that's really not what we're here about on Pack Hacker. You know, make an investment in something that you're going to use and something that's going to last and something that you enjoy interacting with every day. And while I kind of like um, the larger one because I like the different access points, I'm just not getting much enjoyment from this. It's, it doesn't sound great and it's just a simple bag that isn't got much special going on. So I'm going to pop this one over there. Then moving on, we're gonna hit the drum sack range, which I've been really excited to show you because unlike that, which they kind of feel like kind of cheaper bags, these actually feel pretty cool. So we will start off with the uh, drum sack messenger bag. I just realized this material has picked up a little bit of fluff. Um, it's definitely more than the other stuff, but nothing too crazy. And you'd probably be surprised that this bag is from Ikea. Yeah, it's just, it's a messenger bag, and um, that's cool. I actually just recently used the Peak Design Everyday Messenger 13 litre V2, and on the front of the Peak Design Messenger, it's got this mag latch system, which is what they're known for, and it's really easy to just grab with one hand and fling open. This one has got this kind of, I don't like Velcro on bags, um, Velcro and buckle thing here. Um, so it does take a little bit of time to open up and also to close, it's not as quick, but then, you know, that's, pretty expensively priced messenger bag that I've been used to and coming to this is, is always gonna be a little bit of a shock, but open it up like that. And as you can see in here, nothing too fancy going on. You've got a laptop compartment, which actually fits, it says it fits a 14 inch, but it fits my 15 inch MacBook really nicely. It's got, again, if you can see here, it's got this Velcro kind of thing to keep your laptop in, but there's something about Velcro in bags I, I just don't like. Um, it's cheap, effectively. Um, then at the front, you've got a couple of divider pockets, which you might be able to see there. And that's pretty much it. The white lining here is pretty white. Um, so I think eventually over time, it, it's gonna get dirty, it just is. But for now, it, it looks nice and it's really easy to see inside and see everything that's going on. I don't know how long it's gonna last in regards to how long it's gonna look kind of new-ish. I think it might degrade relatively quickly, but I'd be more than happy to pick one of these up myself and, and rock it. For me, this is definitely worth checking out if you need one. Yeah, I'll put that to the side and we'll take a look at the other drum sack bag, which I'll just tell you right now is also worth checking out. This is their tote bag, also 14 liters, and it's basically a tote backpack. So you've got a little front pocket here with Velcro again, but this holds the front um, tote. And then, if you can see that, it's just a tote bag, basically, which I've been kind of trying out a few times recently, I'm slowly getting used to them. They're still not quite my style. Um, they don't suit me that well, but um, I don't mind that. And as you can see in the transition is, is really quite smart. You um, pop this down, and then at the back here, the harness system, um, where it was the tote strap, you pull these out, and you've got backpack straps. And that's really neat. I like it, I think it works. Now, granted, you know, please don't load this up with anything too heavy because they are bad shoulder straps, they're not comfortable, but for a tote, you've more than likely got some lighter stuff in there anyway. Maybe it's all right for, you know, just throwing on your back, but I like how it handles as a tote as well. And again, this is the other color in the drum sack range, which I really like. And um, we'll just get inside. There is gaps in the top here. Um, so not the best bag if it's gonna start raining, but little zipper at the top. Um, I will just say the zippers on all of these are 
um, just here, it's, it's an Opti zipper, and I've used some of the older ranged IKEA stuff before, and their zippers almost just felt like rubbish plastic and they were just gonna fall apart straight away, but these ones are okay. You know, they're not YKK, they're not SBS or Zoom or, or anything that have got, you know, a, a half decent name on them, but I, we've never heard of Opti here, but they feel okay. Um, which is, again, for budget, budget, budget bags, is is pretty much all you can ask for. So just a little update on the zippers, and I believe every single zipper I've seen on this range has been Opti so far. So it's got a large packing cube in there. Um, again, just to fill the bag up so it doesn't flop on the floor when I was holding it. But taking a look inside, we've got, hopefully you can see this okay, but a laptop compartment at the back, which I will throw my laptop in. Again, this is the 15 inch MacBook Pro and it fits quite nice. I think again with this one, they just say it's 14 inch, but 15 inch actually fits okay. And I've, I've taken this one out a couple of days as well um, with the laptop in and it's all been a-okay. Then other than that, just a kind of wide compartment. And then at the top, it's got a couple of divider pockets and then also it's got a um, zippered pocket as well, just, you know, kind of like a secret zipper pocket, um, just because, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I would say the organization in all of these so far has been kind of a pretty good level, you know? Um, not too much, nothing too crazy, but also just enough. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, use this one a couple of times, and with this and the messenger bag, I feel good about using them. If you're looking for a tote bag or want to get into a tote, then Definitely worth checking out, I think. Moving on, we have um, from the Valdens range, the Valdens Accessory Bag Medium and the Valdens Accessory Bag Small. So I'll put the small to the side and this is uh, a miss. They're incredibly cheap and if you really just need an accessory pouch and the only shop you can get to is Ikea and you've only got you know a couple bucks to spend, then sure, go for it, but if you can, get nicer accessory pouches. You know, you use these things if you're working, you're going to the co-working space or something along those lines and you're interacting with these every single day, getting them out of your bag, put them on your desk with your mouse and stuff in, have something nicer because it's more pleasurable to use on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, and you, you do find, you do get your money's worth with, with nicer stuff. And these, I'll just take the stuff out of here first. So I've got a little, tiny little Manfrotto tripod and then just a little mouse as well here. and. I'll put it up to my lav mic so you can hear it really well, but it's crinkly, it doesn't feel good, it kind of creases as well. I, I really wanted to like these because I'm a big fan of accessory bags and I wanted to be like, hey, it's cheap, so go ahead and pick it up anyway. But these are just, they're just a miss, unfortunately for me. North Street do a good, I think the Pittock pouches, Topo Designs do some good accessory bags and we've done a ton of reviews over on our website of them and yeah, they're more expensive, but if you're using them every day, it's worth the investment, I think. So that's it there. They're in the probably give it a miss pile in all honesty. Moving on, just got a few products left now, but this is the Valden's belt bag, which is effectively a sling. Um, you can get away with wearing this on your waist, but wears better as a sling and that's how people are wearing them. And I'm personally a big fan of the sling. And something I'll note straight away with this in regards to the difference of the other ones is there is a bit of padding to it. So it doesn't feel as crinkly um, and as kind of paper thin as the other ones. So it saves it a little bit. All in all is kind of like a travel sling or you know just a sling you're using to not fill your pockets up. I really like this. It's a really good size and it's got you know a good amount of space. There we go. It's got a nice little main compartment. It has got a, a little divider pocket at the back, and it's also got, yeah, the two pockets on the front and also a little zippered pocket, but it's stuff that doesn't get in the way if you don't use it, you know, you can just use it as a big compartment. So I really like the organization in here, and it feels a little nicer and, and better to use than, than most. And it's also got at the back here, a little security pocket, which we've seen in a few other slings, and that's really nice, you know, for your passport, stuff like that. Really great. This one's worth checking out. It's not for everyone, um, but I think if you're interested in the sling, it's worth throwing into the mix. So I'll pop that over here. 
Then three more products to go. And the third final one to go is the Rensar accessory bags. And these ones are paper thin. It's a ripstop, however, it's a very faint ripstop and I'm really not sure how well it's going to, you know, stop a rip from happening if a rip does appear. What I will say is that when we picked these up, I went to the store and also checked online and there was only one kind of design for, you know, this set. And it's this kind of like a dark yellow with little spots on it. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not the biggest fan. I wouldn't necessarily choose that design, but hey, at least it's easy to see inside of your bag. Then, as I said, it's a three pack set of three. So we've got two in here, which is the same size. And it, they call these accessory bags and Ikea does do specific clothes packing cubes or clothing bags, but these feel a lot more like packing cubes for clothes than other accessories. I'm not sure about this one um, in all honesty, but if you need accessory bags, and you know, or just somewhere to put your underwear or something, or even you know, t-shirts would probably go in this larger one, then it's worth checking out for sure. Um, yeah, that's that. That's the Rensar accessory bags a set of three. Hopefully they come out with some different designs as well, not just that yellow with spots on. Then second last, we have got the Skinka, and that's S-K-Y-N-K-E, S -K -Y -N -K -E, which is confusingly harder to spell than I thought it was going to be. Um, or maybe I'm butchering the pronunciation, but this is effectively, they call it like a shopping bag, but it's a packable tote and it's pretty small, um, very, very lightweight. And I will just get it out now. Packs away into a nice little pocket, which, and the good thing about a packable tote is that you can just have it with you. And if you ever need a bag, you have one. And a little fun fact is that we never intended on our original list, we had a little look online and went to the shop beforehand and looked at all their products and wondered which ones would be best to pick up, whether they're good, they're bad, stuff we wanted to show you. And this wasn't on our original list, but I went into the store and it was a, a pound, a British pound. Um, and it's also in the States, it's also just one USD, it's a buck. I was like, we just have to pick this up because it's a packable tote, super cheap priced, just had to check it out basically. So it's really nothing more than a paper bag and you can hear that as well. And it's definitely nothing you wanna use for anything more than say some groceries or say you just need a bag for whatever reason. While I wouldn't necessarily use something like this, um, I know Rebecca here at Pack Hacker, whenever she heads out, she's always got like a packable, little packable bag like this on her. And if I'm honest, the amount of times we've gone out together and she's whipped it out and been really impressed um, with herself for carrying it and it's come in super handy. I think this is worth getting. I think it's worth, um, you know, carrying with you and hopefully if I've done this the right way. I have, fortunately, otherwise it would make me look like a little bit of a rookie. But there we go. That's the um, the IKEA Skinker. Um, for the price, it's so, 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 so cheap that I think it's worth checking out. And, you know, as long as you're not using it every day for every item, it, it should last as well as a kind of a, a go-to, just in case kind of packable tote. So we'll wipe that over there. Then, finally, we have got the OG of Ikea bags, the Fractor, and it's just their large shopping bag, basically. And they have a yellow version of this in their store, which you can go around and pick stuff up with. And then right at the end of the um, shopping experience in Ikea, they'll have these to buy basically. And it was really, really cheap. It feels pretty sturdy, strong. It, it's gonna carry some pretty heavy stuff. I think it's an impulse buy. They leave it right at the end before you're paying and checking out for a reason. Um, and even though it's, it's incredibly well-priced, where I see the packable tote coming in really handy with day-to-day -day stuff, this just isn't there and you're most likely gonna pick it up and just leave it in a cupboard or you know a garage or something for forever and it's never gonna get used. It's just not worth picking up, unfortunately. So it's gonna go in the mist pile. I would skip it. Unless you really have a really specific use case, then go for it, it's really reasonable. But I think for most people, you know, save yourself from getting it right at the end. So it's definitely been an interesting one kind of going through all of Ikea stuff. 
they're definitely making a big effort to getting more of this kind of stuff out there and in their stores and producing this stuff, which is cool. But yeah, that's all the items that I think are worth checking out in this kind of haul from Ikea. So make sure to leave a comment down below and also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a uh, travel focus, more travel focus gear. So we've got roll luggage, travel backpack, etc., from Ikea. And we can make that video for you. Just let us know. But that's been it. You know, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker. And we will see you in the next video.